Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, Liverpool, how are you feeling? It's been a good evening so far. Awesome. There's been some real highlights. What have been the biggest moments for you, Danisha? Gosh, it has to be Nina Darwell there on the bars, the Olympic champion, back like she never left. Come on, guys. How amazing was she? You didn't have to be an expert to realise that that was absolutely incredible either, did you? I was watching like, wow. Uh, coming up, uh, national champions from Iceland, Romania, Israel, and Team Spain as well, all on the way. It's going to be incredible. It's going to be an amazing subdivision. Liverpool, are you ready for some more gymnastics? Okay, let's count these guys in. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, six five, five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Liverpool, please welcome the gymnasts in subdivision two. Starting on beam, group of all around individual gymnasts. Starting on the vault, our second group of all around individual gymnasts. Starting on floor exercise, Spain. And starting their qualification competition on the uneven bars, it's Romania. Gymnasts, your warm-up time starts now. So just to draw attention to the nations on vaults. In rotation one in the all-around individual group, we have gymnasts from Iceland, Thailand, and Venezuela. And competing in the all-around on an individual basis, we have gymnasts on beam from Israel and Ecuador. And the difference in this round is that they are all-around gymnasts, so they'll have the capacity to do all four apparatus, whereas in the previous rotation, many of the gymnasts were apparatus specialists. We will tend to focus our attention on floor again as the gymnasts have to perform to the music, but we'll try and pick up some of the other apparatus as we go through the round. And in this first round of subdivision two, it's Spain on floor. Spain placed 12th in uh, 2019 World Championships and also 12th in Tokyo. Top 12 teams qualify for Olympic Games. And it starts right here. The top three teams at these World Championships will get an automatic qualification into the 2024 Olympic Games in Paris. The rest of the teams will hope to make the top 12 at the Antwerp World Championships next year. So lots at stake, as well as, of course, the illustrious title of world champion. Gymnasts and coaches, that concludes your warm-up. So let's give them a Liverpool cheer as they get their world championships underway.
now on floor representing Spain. Please show your appreciation for Maya Yase Sierra. Maya Yessa Sierra finishing on floor, 19 years of age, very expressive with her hands. All the movements are right to her fingertips. Going for that double spin in the split position in the middle of that routine. The split turns, the leaps, the spins, all equally as important as the acrobatic elements. Has to be a good combination and the difficulty built throughout the routine from both of those parts of the routine, the acrobatic and the dance element. School of Vault is also on the Aldous Team Dottier, 12.066. Andrea Preda scored 10.666 on the uneven bars for Romania. Next to go will be Anna Barbosu. Score on floor for Maya Yasa Sierra, 12.0. And now for Spain on floor exercise, Emma Fernandez.
Well, a dramatic pose to finish there from Emma Fernandez. Beautiful double pike at the end there. Nailed that landing. Tall, elegant gymnast. Well done to her. And some great beam work from Israel's Lehi Raz. And a very nicely performed handspring top front somersault from Milka Leon, representing Venezuela on vault. Anna Barbosu scored 13.433 on the uneven bars for Romania. And it's 12.633 for Israel's Lihi Raz. Next up on the beam from Ecuador, it's Elise Peria. Emma Fernandez scores 12.6 on floor. Next to go, her teammate, Laura Casabuena. A uh, lovely performance there from Laura Casabuena from Spain. Just 16 years old, has been gaining experience on the World Challenge Cup scene. Taking fourth on floor in Paris this year. Seventh in Copa. And uh, mature movement for a 16 year old. Very expressive, lovely pointed toes, the poised performance from her. It looks like we've finished around the arena apart from floor. Uh, we have one more gymnast to go.
supporters in the crowd there. If you see yourself on the big screen, give us a cheer. <laughs> There's been a really lovely atmosphere in podium training on the arena floor. All the gymnasts supporting each other, which has been lovely to see. There the score coming in for Lara Crasa Buena. She scores 13.2. So we're ready for a final competitor of this rotation on floor, representing Spain. Show your support for Paula Rea. Let's hear it for Paula Rea, representing Spain. A big smile from her as she runs off the floor. Congratulated by the coach. Beautiful routine there. I don't know if you spotted a very difficult spin in the middle. She went for the quad, four spins. Incredible work from her. Well, that concludes the rotation. So, gymnasts, if you'd like to line up. And with your support, Liverpool, let's move them to their next apparatus. Gymnast, your warm-up time starts now. Just to give you the score for Paolo Rea is 12.566. So the judges working hard. And uh, while we have a moment, can we just give a big round of applause for the judges and technical delegates? They work incredibly hard. Thank you to them for all of their efforts. So if you're new to gymnastics and wondering what it's all about, you can see the gymnasts rotating round in these all-round competitions. They start on one apparatus and they rotate round four times in the Olympic rotation order, from vault to uneven bars, uneven bars to beam, beam to floor. And each time they rotate, they get their opportunity for a 30-second warm-up per gymnast. So in this rotation, we have Spain on vault, 
We have our individual gymnasts on the un uneven bars representing Iceland, Thailand and Venezuela. On beam we have Romania and on floor exercise Israel and Ecuador. Gymnasts and coaches, that concludes your warm-up time. Uh, Liverpool, let's give them all a big round of applause as we begin rotation two. And we start on floor. Now, representing Israel, please welcome Lihi Raz. Nineteen-year-old Lihi Raz finishing on floor there for Israel. She is the national champion and represented her country at the Tokyo Olympic Games. And this is her second world championships. Well done to her. And a great beam, ru beam routine from Romania's Andrea Preda. That was Iceland's Hilda Meyer Goodman's daughter finishing on bars there. And the full twisting Yurchenko on vault from Laura Casabuena. <laughs> so she does a round off or cartwheel onto the board, backflip onto the vault. She pushes off with a straight somersault and a full twist. It's a difficulty value of 4.2. Score for Lihi Raz, 12.833. Yeah. Our next gymnast on floor represents Ecuador. This is Alez Perea.
Thank you to Alaez Perea from Ecuador. She's 17 years old. She competed at the Pan American Championship and Junior World Championships, but this is her first Senior World Championships. Give her a big cheer. And let's keep them cheers coming as the Romanian national champion finishes her beam routine there, completing some difficult skills, including a handspring front. If you look up on the big screen there, you can see the all-important chalk being applied to the handguards, which protect the hands and help grip on the uneven bars. See, they're right on the fingertips. They almost loop over the top of the bars. A little leather dowel in the middle of them. And that's the hours of training to perfect their routines. Important to protect the hands. Elias Perea scores 11.8 on floor. Next to perform and representing Israel, Ophir Netzer. Thank you to Ofer Netzer representing Israel and finishing on floor. Big opening tumble there. Double back somersault with a full twist. And that was Milka Leon from Venezuela finishing her Bari team with a double pike descent here at her third World Championships. So we have one more gymnast to go on the uneven bars in this rotation. And that will be an individual gymnast looking at the team standings at the moment. At the same point in the competition, the United States of America had 85.232. Spain have 77.198 ahead of Belgium with 75.732. So interesting to see them at the same point within the competition after two operators. The score for Milka Leon is 11.766. Next up on the bars from Iceland, it's Thelma Adalstein-Dottir. 
the Icelandic national champion. So now Adelstein Dottir finishing on the uneven bars. And the score comes through for Offen Netza on floor 12.4. Okay. So those performances complete the round. Gymnasts, when you're ready, and Liverpool, when you're ready, clap along to the music as we move them to their next apparatus. Gymnast, your warm up starts now. Hello, it's only me sat here in the crowd. Liverpool, you having a good evening tonight? Yes? Yes, it sounds like you are. It is the World Gymnastics Championships 2022. I've made some friends in the crowd. Um, what is your name? Ilva. Okay, and where are you from? Sweden. You have got some moves. We've been watching you down there, these dance moves. We were like, we've got to get them on. So what I thought we'd do, if you and your friends are up for it, and everybody else as well, but you guys are kind of like the cheerleaders, is we are going to play a tune, and you guys are going to get up, and you're going to have a dance. Is that okay? Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, uh, DJ, you ready with the tune over there? Okay, three, two, one. Oh, we're standing up. Everybody stand up, actually. Three, two, one, go! It is Saturday night, so why not? Saturday night from Wigfield. Let's go. I'm doing a different dance to these. These are so good. We want to see the rest of the arena up. Come on. These girls are good. They're good. You're on the big telly. I'm doing a completely different dance to you guys. We loved it. Thank you. Looking good up there, Sweden. Well done, Graham. You're learning some moves up there. So. Uh, yeah, feel free to Thank keep cheering on our gymnasts as we go through. But we are nearing the end of warm-up now and time to turn our attention to the action. Gymnast, your warm-up is over. So once more, we focus on floor where we have our first gymnast representing Romania. 
Let's hear it for Andrea Freda. Andrea Preda representing Romania. Beautiful performance from the 16 year old. Two young gymnasts here, just into their senior. Romania, five times world champions in the past, history of creating and of bringing beautiful gymnasts. And here is no exception. We'll see what the judges make of that score. Emma Fernandez scores a 12.5 on the bars. Next up, it's her teammate Paula Rea. Andrea Preda scores 12.666 on floor. <laughs> Next to perform, representing Romania, Anna Barbosu.
Anna Barbosu representing Romania, the national all around champion, also competed at the European Championships this year. Some difficult tumbling there, including that middle path, the two and a half twisting back or twisting front. Difficult work, the timing really important, linking those two together. We also saw some difficult work on the vault from Israel's Ophir Netzer doing a handspring front fall for her second vault there, aiming to qualify for the vault final here at her fifth World Championships. Score for Ophir Netzer, 12.933 for her second vault, giving her an average of 13.016, the sixth highest average so far. Next to go, Lihi Raz from Israel. And a difficult double twist in Yurchenko. 5.0 difficulty, so a mark out of 10 for execution, then five marks added to it. She will return to perform a second vault. Rocasa Buena finishing for Spain there on the uneven bars, swinging very well. Extension right the way through to her toes. Try and release and read grasp elements as well. Safely through. Score for Lihi Raz on vault for her first vault 13.7. twisting Sukahara for a second vault 4.4 the difficulty value That was Selma Adelstein Dottir from Iceland finishing her beam routine.
Maya Yata Sierra finishing on the uneven bars for Spain. Nasty fall there on the Ginga. That was the back somersault with half turn. Very difficult, but recovered well to finish the routine with a composed dismount. Average score for Lihe Raz from Israel was 13.416. That currently puts her in fifth place. Remember, it will be the top eight gymnasts that go through to the apparatus finals. The score for Selma Adel Steindot here on the beam, it's 11.6. Next on the beam, her teammate from Iceland, it's Hilda Meyer Goodmans Dottir. Iceland's Hilda Meyer Goodmans Dottir. Meanwhile, Anna Barbosa scored 13.3 for her floor exercise. And that does conclude the round. So when you're ready, gymnast and Liverpool, are you ready? Let's move them round to their next apparatus. Gymnast, your warm-up time starts now. So we can have a quick look at the scores after three apparatus. Spain in third place in the team competition at the moment with 113.430. Belgium in second with 115.831. But after three rotations, the United States of America.
gymnast. That concludes your warm-up time. So let's get this final rotation underway for subdivision two. And again, we will be focusing on floor where the green light is on for our next gymnast. She represents Venezuela. Let's hear it for Milka Leon. Thank you to Milka Leon finishing her competition on the floor exercise, 23 years of age, competed at the World Championships in 2017 and 2019. She seemed to enjoy that performance and had a mixture of styles throughout in terms of her dance. And Emma Fernandez of Spain finishing with a high double pike off the balance beam. Anna Barbasso scored 13 marks exactly on vault. Milka Leon scores 11.7 .7 on floor exercise. Next to perform and representing Iceland on the floor exercise will be Thelma Aldenstein Dottir.
Well, the national all-around champion from Iceland there, Thelma Aldansteel Dottir, finishing on floor. It's unusual contemporary and dramatic choreography in that routine from the 21-year-old competing at her second world championships. And that routine concludes her qualification competition. That's Elias Peria of Ecuador finishing her competition on the uneven bars. Laura Casabuena finishing from Spain on the balance beam. High five to her teammate. Big focus on the team competition here in Liverpool. So just a slight pause as we wait for scores to come in. And there on beam, Laura Casabuena scores 12.966. No. Up on the beam from Spain, it's Paula Rea. And the score on floor for Thelma Adelstein Dottir, 11.433. Yeah. Next to go and representing Iceland, Hilda Maya Goodmans Dottir.
And a rousing performance there from the 17-year-old Hilda Meyer Goodman's dot here. Had the audience clapping along to the music there. Great choice of track for her floor routine. Giving her the opportunity to portray a bit of her personality. Well done. The score for Paola Raya on the beam is 11.033. Next up from Spain on the balance beam is Leia Masperera. And on floor now, representing Thailand, Sasi Wimono Muyang Fuan. Sassy Wiman Mu Yang Fuan finishing for Thailand on the floor. Twenty years of age. Lovely split position in her leaps there. Showing that 180 degree of leg separation. That's what the judges are looking for. Himalaya Masvera finishes on the beam for Spain and I do believe that concludes all of the action in this rotation. So Liverpool, let's give all of our world-class gymnasts a huge Liverpool cheer. We have a few scores to come through for beam and floor, but I hope you've enjoyed all of the action, just the start of these World Championships and what an evening of gymnastics it has been. Have you enjoyed it, Denise? I've had a great time. We have seen some incredible gymnastics and I've loved the artistry on floor. In this new quad, there's an emphasis on that and it has been great, hasn't it?
It really has all of the gymnasts bringing out their personality and really selling their routines to the judges. We've seen some of our Olympic and world medalists perform. United States of America, Nina Dewar with that amazing bar routine, 14.7. That's going to be hard to beat. It really is. And we are just getting started. We have eight more subdivisions tomorrow in the women's competition. Yes, hopefully you'll be here to join us. 9.30 will be starting. But the scores are on their way. The score on floor there, 12.033. And the score for Laia Masfera on beam, 11.733. So that concludes all of the scores. So Liverpool, one more time, show your support for these gymnasts as they leave the arena. What an incredible evening of gymnastics it's been. Liverpool, thank you so much. There's been some highlights tonight. It has been amazing. Um, listen, uh, we are here all week. In fact, I'm back here tomorrow at 8.30 in the morning. So if you are, um, we'll see you then. Um, otherwise, have a safe journey home uh, and enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you very much, Liverpool.